Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you quickly about your photography project as far as what I expect from you with this project and what you guys should be doing at home with this project. Um, so I did a sign up photography project last year so the 8th graders kind of already have a good idea of what this is going to look like. So I'm going to give every single person an inspiration word. Um, the reason why I give inspiration words is to help you guys think about what you want to do because sometimes it's hard to just be like, oh, give, we're doing photography, take pictures of something. If you have a really good idea, send me an email or message me on Instagram um, and you know what, I might approve of that idea. But if not, and you're totally stumped, which happens for a lot of you, then use the inspiration word. It's there to help guide you in a really big way. Uh, that being said, um, I assigned this project because everybody has a phone and it's a really good project to do while we're working with each other remotely while, you know, school's closed. So once you get the inspiration word, you do not need to take it literally. Okay, if you get the word holiday, you don't need to wait until Easter to take photos. Um, it is meant to inspire you. It could be things that remind you of a certain holiday, foods you eat, chilling with your family. Um, it could be like dressed in a costume or something that reminds you of a certain holiday, not literal. So if point A is your inspiration word and point B is your completed photo, then you do not need to walk in a straight line to get there, okay? You can go like this and get there somehow. Whatever your thought process is and whatever your process is in terms of this photography is okay as long as you are taking the photos with, you know, all of the art elements and principles in mind and doing it in a really um, artistic way instead of just snapping a photo of something. Which brings me to my next point. You are doing art photography. You are not just snapping a photo of any old thing. So that being said, I know that when you guys like are on Snapchat and stuff like that together, that you send a photo to your friends and you might just send one photo. But sometimes you might not like the photo the first time that you send it. You might like rearrange some stuff or like move your hair or like change the lighting or whatever and take more pictures to send it. Those are the types of things that you have to think of in terms of photography because the stuff that goes on behind the camera over here can affect the stuff that you are taking the photo of. And I'm going to link up a bunch of videos that talk about that um, on my website so that you guys can get inspired from those videos and learn how to kind of manipulate the photos to be something that you really really like because when we get to the editing stage of this it's easy to edit a really good photo it is not easy to edit a photo that wasn't so good in the first place you're gonna find yourself trying to use the editing to make the photo good but the photo is never going to be good okay so you need to be thinking about what you are actually doing and how you are going to do it and take 30 photos to maybe get one good photo before you edit it, okay? And that's really, really important. Every week, um, I'll post this on Google Classroom as well. Every week, you should be sending me some of the photos that you like, maybe if you want my opinion, whatever, but I need to be updated on what you guys are doing um, to make sure that you're doing it and to help guide you in the process of doing all of this. So pretty soon I'm going to post a video to discuss the editing process with you and then I'll post a, a bunch of videos along with that. But for now, look out for your inspiration word. Number one, keep everything I just said in mind. And if you do have any questions, send me an email, message me on Instagram. I will get back to you. I will answer those questions. If you have an idea that you feel like is better than your inspiration word, then by all means, ask that question, okay? Use your family and your pets and your props and your room and your space to help take these photos because that's what is going to make everybody's photo unique and really good. So again, if you have questions, let me know. And if not, then I will see you soon.